Yo guys, in today's video, I'm going to be giving you the best Season 3 graphics on Rebirth Island. After the update, there has been quite a lot of complaints about stuttering and FPS issues. If you guys make sure that you copy all of my settings, you're going to have the same amount of frames that I am getting right here. I am currently on 300 frames right now and I am loaded into the actual game with 40 other players being rendered on the map. There's mortar strikes, there's precision air strikes going off behind me, so there's a lot of things being rendered in and affecting the performance. As you can see, I am floating around the 250, 280, 290, 300 frame mark. That is quite impressive, I would say. Um, and performance really matters to me because I stream to TikTok, I stream to Twitch, and I am gaming all of one PC. I'm going to make sure to have your game running amazingly, guys. I'm going to have it running buttery smooth all about the performance in this video make sure you copy every single setting that i have to offer i'm going to show you guys throughout i'm going to show you the nvidia desktop settings which we're going to start with firstly and then i'm going to go into the in-game settings just make sure you copy all of my graphic settings guys and i'm going to have your game running perfectly now i'm going to show you guys to begin with the nvidia control panel settings these settings don't actually make as much of a difference as much people might think but I'm going to leave them here to let you guys copy, of course. They certainly do make a difference. So make sure you guys copy all of these. I'm going to start with the global settings, which is under manage 3D settings. I'm going to scroll through these. You guys can copy at your own pace. Then next up, we're going to click on program settings. Now, you're going to want to try and find your call of duty launcher for me this is in program files 86 call of duty retail and then cod.exe now once you've done that guys it's going to bring up the settings here and you're going to want to make sure you copy these these are quite important make sure you are going through these slowly at your own pace copying them Okay, that is it for the video control panel settings guys i'm going to get into the game and i'm going to show you guys all my settings in the game okay now i'm going to show you guys the in-game graphics settings firstly i'm going to go through things that are more important and i'm going to give you guys some clarity on why you should have these settings set to what they are so you guys aren't just copying them blindly and you don't really know why i'm going to explain why but a lot of them i'm going to let you guys scroll through and copy but like i said for the notable settings I'm going to explain what they do and why you should have them. So firstly, we're going to start with the display mode. You're going to want to have full screen exclusive. Now you have the option of windowed, borderless and extended window. All of these are not the best. Uh, borderless is okay if you stream because you have to tab out quite a lot. That's quite understandable. But again, you're going to have the best performing game if you run exclusive. This is going to give you the least input delay. So make sure if you can put on exclusive guys. Uh, next up is going to be the screen refresh rate. Now mine is set to 240. This is the highest that my monitor can allow. A lot of people are stuck on the 60 hertz for some reason. Uh, they don't really realize that their monitor can do more if it is capable of course. So make sure you check this guys. Make sure you set this to your monitor's highest output. For me it's 240 hertz. Then the display resolution. This is 1440p. For anybody that doesn't know the resolutions 2560 times 1440 this is 1440p if you want to play on 1080p here it is here 1920 by 1080 now 1080p will give you better frames but a much worse looking game uh, of course if you can't handle 1440p um, that is absolutely fine of course then play with what you have for me i play on 1440p and i'm going to show you a little trick uh, in a minute guys uh, to, for me to get better frames whilst on 1440p so make sure it's on the correct resolution guys if you come down to the next setting brightness this is the next one make sure this is 255 i think by default it's on 50 50 is a little bit dark in those darker areas inside buildings inside corners so i tend to put mine on 55 then you want to come down and put your nvidia reflex low latency now this is an important one if you have an nvidia gpu set the low latency to on plus boost and your game will feel amazing now this comes with a combination of another setting you have to have enabled 
make sure you're using variable rate shading. But I'm gonna come to that in a minute, guys. Just make sure if you have an NVIDIA GPU to put this on low latency mode on on plus boost. Here's the rest of my settings, guys. You can copy those. None of those are majorly important, but now we're gonna go to the quality tab. And now we're gonna go over the render resolution. So because I do everything from one PC, I stream to TikTok, I stream to Twitch, I also game all on the same PC all at once. I need as many frames as possible so that I'm not lagging, so that I don't have input delay on my PC. So you can set this to 75, reduced from 100. This is gonna put your game to 1080p, but what it does is that it doesn't make it as worse looking as it would on a native 1080p. It's like a little trick. So if you set your resolution to 1440p and then put the render resolution to 75, it's gonna downscale it to 1080p. So that's just a little trick. If you guys need some extra frames, make sure you do that. Now you're gonna wanna make sure your upscaling and sharpening is on Fidelity FX Cast. Make sure the strength is set to 95. Then you're gonna wanna come down and set the VRAM scale target to 50. Here is the other setting that I was talking about guys. You're gonna wanna make sure that the variable rate shading is set to on. Basically what this does, enabling the variable rate shading makes the game more CPU depending, which in turn goes hand in hand with the NVIDIA low latency on plus boost. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, of course guys, make sure that is, that is so important. So make sure this is set to on. This is gonna make your CPU work harder, but then if you put the NVIDIA on plus boost, it's gonna balance that out, guys, and you're gonna get the, you're gonna get the best performance. Then I'm gonna scroll down. You're gonna set every setting to the lowest and off. With those two settings that I just mentioned, the variable rate shading and the low latency set to on plus boost. Combine this with every setting on as low as possible or off if it allows. I'm gonna scroll through these guys, you guys can copy. This one here, on-demand texture streaming, you're gonna wanna make sure this is off, guys, because this is gonna be downloading as you play the game from the internet. Now, this is gonna impact your performance a lot. Make sure this is set to off, guys. Now, for the next one, we're gonna go to the View tab. Now, for field of view, a lot of people don't know. A lot of people just wanna play on 120 FOV, which is completely understandable, you can. But please keep in mind, the higher the FOV, the more demanding it's gonna be for your computer because you are rendering a lot more on your screen. Your screen is a lot wider, you can see a lot more. It's gonna affect your FPS, so if you actually lower it, you're gonna get better frames. Now, that's not why I lower the FOV, I just find 110 very comfortable. Of course, you can play on whatever you want. You can go even lower if you want, or play on 120. It doesn't really matter, but on 120, it's gonna give you less FPS, so keep that in mind. Field of view, you're gonna wanna play on affected. Weapon field of view, put this on wide. Third person, doesn't really matter unless you play third person modes, of course. Make sure motion blur is off, guys. Set the camera moving to the least. This is gonna show much less movement on your screen. It's not gonna move as much. It lets you basically see straighter. Inverted flashbang, this is a preference. If you have it set to off, you're gonna have white flashbang. If you set it to on, it's gonna be a black screen. This is personal preference. It doesn't really matter. Now that is the graphics tab done. Now, a lot of people ask me for the color customization on my Twitch stream or in my videos, and they're wondering how I get like yellow enemies on my minimap. Uh, so basically, before I go into that, make sure you copy these interface settings, guys. Uh, if you come down to the minimap, make sure it's on the square. Now for the HUD bounds, you're gonna wanna click on this. Technically speaking, you're gonna want this as close to the middle as possible. This means you don't have to move your eyes as much. You don't have to use as much peripheral vision. It's gonna be as close to the center of the screen. It's going to be your teammate's health, it's going to be your health, your ammunition, your minimap. It brings it just closer to the middle of the screen. Like I said, this is preference though. Um, I personally play with mine quite far out. 
don't really need it too close to the screen but of course like I said if you feel like you don't want to move your head as much your eyes want to be locked to the middle of the screen which it should be then make sure this is set to the middle now for the colors you're going to want to come into color customization which is under the interface tab now for me I play on the Deuteranopia HUD color palette it's set to default normally now as you can see on Deuteranopia just makes the colors slightly different on the mini map the details it makes my enemy dots yellow um, as you can see here of course you can change this again I'm not actually colorblind it's just what I prefer and also if you scroll down here is the filter 2 you want to make sure that is set to that and apply to both a lot of people don't realize you can't just put it on interface put it to world that will be the in-game but not the interface but if you put it to both it's gonna apply to both pretty self-explanatory make sure the intensity is set to 100 and that is everything guys I'll scroll through a few more settings for you guys here. Crosshairs is on static. Again, preference. I put the center dot on, make it larger. Preference again, but you feel free to copy guys. Here's the rest of the interface settings. But that is the end of the video guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If you copy all of my settings that I have explained today in the video, your guys games will run much smoother. Should have no hiccups. The frame drops should be gone and this will have your game running perfectly guys if it did please make sure to leave a like leave a comment let me know how you get on sub to the channel guys make sure you come to the twitch stream i'm live on twitch every day guys the link will be in the description make sure and come and drop a follow let me know if it helped guys in the comments below i love you guys i'll catch you on the next one peace out